The code you're looking at demonstrates the facade design pattern, which is all about hiding complexity behind a simple interface. Here we have three subsystems, the CPU, the memory, and the hard drive. Each of these classes exposes several low-level operations. For example, CPU can freeze, jump to an instruction, and execute commands, the memory can load data into a specific position, and the hard drive can read raw data from storage. Uh, normally, a client would need to know how to call all of these in the correct order to boot the computer. That's both complicated and error-prone. The computer facade steps in to simplify things. Acting as the facade, it bundles these operations into one clean method called start. Inside this method, facade freezes the CPU, loads the boot data from the hard drive into memory, instructs the CPU to jump to the entry point, and then executes the program. The client doesn't have to deal with any of those details. In fact, in the test function, the client just creates a computer facade object and calls start. This captures the essence of the facade design pattern. Provide a straightforward interface to a complex subsystem, making life easier for the client. In practice, this reduces coupling, improves maintainability, and ensures that the inner workings can change without affecting how clients interact with the system. It's like pressing the power button on a computer. You don't need to worry about what happens inside, you just have to know how it starts.